O Heavenly Father, Creator of all things visible and invisible, how wonderful are you in your ways! Your greatness surpasses all understanding, your wisdom exceeds all human comprehension. Before you, I bow in worship, acknowledging my smallness and your infinite majesty. Lord, you who dwell in unapproachable light, before whom the angels cover their faces, incline your ears to my plea. My heart yearns for you as the parched earth longs for rain. As the deer pants for the water brooks, so my soul longs for you, O God. Holy Father, I recognize that my mind often strays to earthly things, to the fleeting concerns of this world. How easily I am carried away by the tumultuous waves of life, forgetting to fix my eyes on you, the eternal rock. Therefore, I come before you, pleading, renew my mind, transform my understanding, my... By your grace may I seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at your right hand. Help me not to focus on earthly things, but on heavenly ones. May my thoughts rise above the clouds of worldly triviality, reaching the heights of your eternal glory. O Lord, how subtle are the snares of the enemy. Like a cunning serpent, he seeks to divert my mind from the simplicity and purity that is in Christ. Guard me, O God, against his schemes. May I be vigilant, knowing that my adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Holy Spirit, you who are the promised comforter, the spirit of truth, come and dwell in me fully. Guide me into all truth, keeping my eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and finisher of my faith. Without you, O divine helper, how can I resist the seductions of this world? How can I keep my heart pure and my mind focused on eternal things? Lord Jesus, you who are the true vine, help me to abide in you. May I be as intimately connected to you as the branch is to the vine. For I know that apart from you, I can do nothing. May your life-giving sap flow through me, producing abundant fruit for the glory of the Father. O oh God, how often I am carried away by the winds of circumstance, forgetting that my life is hidden with Christ in you. Renew in me the awareness of my true identity. May I live as a citizen of heaven, as an ambassador of Christ in this transient world. Father of mercy, transform me inwardly by the power of your Spirit. May I be clothed with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Compelled by the love of Christ, may I forgive as I have been forgiven, love as I have been loved. Lord, the voices of this world incessantly clamor, seeking to capture my attention and divert my heart from you. Worldly standards and expectations press upon me from all sides, attempting to mold me into their image. But you, O God, call me to be transformed by the renewing of my mind. Help me to reject everything that does not conform to your good and perfect will. O Most High, how easily my thoughts wander into unproductive and even dangerous territories. Grant me the grace to be diligent in monitoring my thoughts, immediately rejecting those that do not glorify you. May I meditate on things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, may that occupy my mind. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge my total dependence on you to live a life that pleases you. Without your grace, how can I obey your word? How can I walk in the light as you are in the light? Therefore, I cry out to you. Strengthen me with power in my inner being. May Christ dwell in my heart through faith, so that, being rooted and grounded in love, I may have the strength to comprehend, with all the saints, the width, length, height, and depth of Christ's love. Lord, may I be a Christian who bears abundant fruit for your kingdom. May my life be like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever I do, may it prosper, not for my own glory, but for the praise of your grace. O Almighty God, how can I adequately express my gratitude for your goodness and faithfulness? Your mercy is renewed every morning. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Though I fail a thousand times, your love remains constant. Though my mind wanders, your grace reclaims me. Lord Jesus, you who are the way, the truth, and the life, guide me in your paths. 
May I walk worthy of the calling with which I have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. Help me to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Holy Father, may my life be a living testimony of your transforming grace. May those around me see Christ in me, the hope of glory. May my words and actions reflect your love, your compassion, your justice. O God, how easily I am distracted by the worries of this life. Help me to cast all my anxiety on you, knowing that you care for me. May I experience the peace that surpasses all understanding, guarding my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Lord, may I run with perseverance the race that is set before me, fixing my eyes on Jesus. When the storms of life come, may I stand firm, built on the rock that is you. May no tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, danger, or sword separate me from your love. Father of lights, in whom there is no variation or shadow of turning, enlighten the eyes of my understanding. May I know the hope of your calling and the riches of the glory of your inheritance in the saints. May I increasingly comprehend the mystery of godliness. God manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen by angels, preached among the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up in glory. O Lord my God, may I live each day in the light of eternity. May the visible and temporal things not blind me to the invisible and eternal. Help me to value what truly matters, to seek first your kingdom and your righteousness. Holy Spirit, continue your work of sanctification in me. Transform me from glory to glory into the image of Christ. May I grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May my love abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight. Eternal Father, as I conclude this prayer, my heart overflows with gratitude. How unsearchable are your judgments and your ways past finding out. Who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Or who has given to him that it should be repaid? For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be glory forever. Beloved Lord Jesus, you who are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, to you I surrender my life, my mind, my heart. May your name be glorified in all I think, say, and do. May your kingdom come, may your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. O Trine God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, to you be all honor, glory, and praise, now and forever. Amen and Amen.